You know, for a very long time, we haven't thought clearly about what happens to these youngsters when they come out of college, when they come out of school, when they come out of university. What we have done in Kenya this year, intentionally and deliberately, we have a deliberate program on creating jobs. We have a housing plan that will create a million jobs every year. We have a whole uh, agro-processing value addition manufacturing plan that's supposed to create half a million jobs. Deliberate. We have a whole ecosystem around technology, uh, e-jobs. How do we create BPOs? How do we create uh, employment in the digital space? We are focusing intentionally and deliberately creating opportunities for young people to, it's not enough for, to say that, oh, when these young people come out of college or university, they will be self-employed. We have to be deliberate. And finally, to make it possible for them not only to access opportunities for employment, but also opportunities for jobs. And that is why we are extending affordable credit. In fact, in the last six months, we launched what we call a hustler fund for MSMEs. We have 15 million people borrowing money from the hustler fund. Seven million regular customers. We have lent 32 billion Kenya shillings. That is about um, 30 million dollars in the last six months. And now it's, we're scaling up for phase two so that we can leverage on the talent, the energy, the knowledge of the young people, not just uh, to drive our economy, but to drive enterprise and also to expand opportunity, not just for themselves, but for the bigger society in our economy. There is Nothing as powerful as an educated, empowered young person with opportunity. The sky is the limit, as they say. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Your Excellency. I am taking away the multiplicity of the words deliberate that you are undertaking, interventions that are deliberately targeted in order to achieve certain results. Thank you. Nothing happens without deliberateness. So the next question then is tied to the Hustler Fund to an extent. And I think it goes to what one of the Deputy Prime Ministers spoke about earlier. Our people are hustlers. And we have seen it when they go away from our shores, those that, that have made it in the US, in Europe, etc., running those enterprises. But the question he posed was, how do we keep them at home? Your Excellency, I'm posing the same question to you. Mm, I, I would not entirely agree that we should keep everybody at home. I mean, we live in a global village. I mean, if there are opportunities in America, and we have young people who can explore those opportunities, why not? Or in Europe, or in other places. That's fine with me. But they must not run away because we have failed to provide opportunity at home. And that is why I am saying we must be deliberate. We must be intentional about creating opportunities for young people in our economies. You know, the problem we always have is that there is an assumption that somehow, after a young person gets out of school or college or with a university degree, they will somehow figure out some opportunity or somehow the economy will create some jobs. 
I promise you, I have been in this place for a while now. Opportunities are deliberately created. Otherwise, they will not be there. Let me explain to you. Today in Kenya, we have made a deliberate policy intervention to say there will be a housing tax of 1.5% out of my salary because we have six which opportunity will create jobs for our young people so we sort out two problems we create jobs using the housing plan and we give houses to those living in informal settlements so we turn a challenge into an opportunity number two we are deliberate about Uh, making sure that because we can uh, manufacture furniture locally. We have half a million young people getting out of our tivets. If we don't have, poli have a policy intervention that says furniture is manufactured locally by our young people, we will continue to import furniture from all manner of furniture is manufactured locally by our young people. We will continue to import furniture from all manner of places, and our young people are idle. So that's why I'm saying we must be deliberate about creating jobs locally. That is how we are going to stop our young people from getting into boats, endangering their lives, going into all manner of places, and ending up in petrol stations as petrol station attendants with the degrees in their pockets. Absolutely. It is a very big shame. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you for your thoughts. May I call upon her Excellency Jessica Rose Appel Alupo, Vice President, Republic of Uganda. Uh, Ma'am, it's the same uh, structure. Your opening remarks in terms of uh, the subject that we are addressing, how do we get the private sector, the young people, active within our economies? And then we move on and I ask a specific question out of you in terms of what you're doing in Uganda. Thank you yes. very much. The, allow me also to extend my appreciation and that of my delegation to High Excellency Samia Suhulu Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and all the people of Tanzania for successfully hosting this very important summit, but also for according me and my delegation the warm reception from the time we arrived here last night. I would like also to associate myself with the so many presentations made 